Today, we are gonna make some grass. No, I'm not in Colorado, so it's not gonna be that kind of grass. It's our techniques that are so simple and sensible, your models have practically built them yourself. <laughs> Hello folks, it's Mad Dog Merv and welcome to the Kit Hoarder Stash. Today I am not out in the doghouse because two reasons. One, I have been taking everything out, assessing it, going through it, getting rid of some things and putting everything back in. And so it's, it's a complete disaster out there right now. And it's really cold currently. So uh, yeah, I'm not in the doghouse, but I'd like to look at this um, this kit from Tamiya. Now I know that once in a while when we do our uh, our dioramas that um, you want something kind of I don't know besides the figures and the vehicle you want something else to add in. I do this a whole lot and quite often I will use animals like particularly dogs. Um, we all know that my Fatuation with dogs. So I found this one kit from Tamiya. Actually, there's several that have dogs in them, but this one that's got a bunch of other stuff too. We're going to take a look at it, so stick with Mad Dog Merv as we look at this Tamiya livestock set. Well, so here's the back of the box, and this is where the um, instructions are on how to assemble the few pieces that have to be assembled, like the dogs in two pieces and the uh, donkeys in, what, five pieces? pigs in a couple of three, four pieces, um, piglets in a couple pieces. So uh, anyway, those instructions are here on the back. Um, and then these pictures that kind of help you as a guide to how you might want to paint them, the different uh, types of uh, chickens and, and pigs and, and different things like that. So that's kind of helpful. Too bad it doesn't have a color call out. Uh, looking at the side of the box here, uh, you can see a couple of the piglets, a couple of ideas to paint them and an idea on how to paint that puppy, uh, which isn't a bad idea. I think I'm going to have to, I'll show you how mine turned out. I'm probably going to have to go back and and touch it up. But here's another idea on how to paint the puppy. I kind of like this one even better. Uh, the different uh, hens and the chicks. And there's even eggs. Believe it or not, there's eggs in this kit. All right. So let's open this up and take a look at it. Ooh, still in the, still in the plastic. Here is the box. And you can see... Um, kind of assembly instructions right there because there's really not much to putting this together. Okay, so first off we have this sprue with uh, what appears to be a German Shepherd and I have an idea how I'm going to paint him up and a widow puppy dog right here and a couple of geese or ducks, whatever you want to call them, I guess ducks, uh, some chickens, couple roosters, and some little piglets in their stands. Cute. And then what appears to be a couple of rabbits laying down, or dead rabbits, or whatever you want to call them, I'm not sure. Uh, a couple of hens sitting on eggs, and here's some eggs. Yeah, it comes with eggs. That's that's pretty neat. Um, here is our donkey with his ears and tail. And then here's the ears for our swine. And here's our swine. A big piggy. Got big piggy and little piggies. And here's some hot chicks. There you go. And I'm not sure what this is. Um, We'll figure that out as we go. 
but yeah there you go there's all the parts so my main reason for getting this kit was for the German Shepherd but I could use the other animals as well my son Thomas has this beautiful dog named Nala and uh, she actually has great colors for a German Shepherd and I've painted a couple of my dogs uh, to look like her however the one out of this kit I wanted to look like their other dog whose name is Gypsy she's uh, part Husky part Shepherd mix and so I thought this dog I'm gonna paint to look like Gyps uh, she's one of my favorite dogs she comes over to visit once in a while and I think she'll be great on one of my dioramas just not sure which one it's gonna be yet so here's my preliminary attempt at painting Gypsy and I need to go over with a wash I probably ought to do this brown in a little bit darker brown I'm not real pleased with uh, with how the colors turned out I tried an airbrush it didn't it, the German Shepherds in the background are some that I painted a few weeks ago and along comes this contest uh, the local hobby shop MRS hobby who I am affiliated with is having an all military um, model contest on well it was last Saturday so okay sounds like it ought to be a whole lot of fun I'm gonna go ahead and enter it but what should I enter well the last couple of uh, pieces of armor I did it turns out you could only enter one item so I decided I was gonna do my T28 so you remember the T28 from the show uh, a few weeks ago and looks pretty good but I definitely had always wanted to put it into a diorama and it's just a little bit too plain if you will for me uh, I wanted to add some spice to it so I took one of the German Shepherds that was a uh, one of the resident German Shepherds and put put him up here hanging out with the guys and I thought that's not too bad but maybe it's a little too much he's a little big ah in that kit that we just reviewed there is a puppy so I went ahead and painted him kind of a, a yellowish tan color now I do want to go back and change his snoot to uh, white and maybe his socks to white as well but I think a puppy the crew finding a puppy and and adopting this puppy I think it's great for the storyline so poof we're gonna put him on here and then I'm gonna go ahead and put together a diorama in just a couple of days out of some styrofoam and other stuff from my model railroading uh, supplies and poof here you go you'll notice there's a bird on the barrel of the gun he's also from Tamiya he's from a whole different set um, but I decided to put him by this defilade so that uh, you know there the guys are resting up ready to go into action uh, at a moment's notice I thought this would definitely add a little bit of character between the bird and the puppy you can see the puppy there by the commander and yeah this, uh, this ought to do pretty good well it did pretty good I had a lot of very positive comments at the contest however I did not place you'll notice the zero uh, Japanese zero here in 48 scale took uh, third the second place went to this uh, Yog Panther and you'll notice the awards um, the little awards there they're atom bombs with a one two and three on them that's pretty darn cool way to go MRS um, I was hoping to be called for first place but I wasn't actually first place went to this beautiful piece right here in um, 700 scale and the uh, the Dauntless I believe is 144th but a great job that was done uh, in putting this together so anyway there's my review of the livestock set and some of the things you can use it for thanks for joining us and we'll see you next week on the stash